Hi, in this video I will talk about homogeneous coordinates. To compute a fine transformation with this equation, one matrix vector multiplication and one vector addition should be performed. Single matrix vector multiplication would be more practical and more efficient. The solution is to use homogeneous coordinates. To obtain homogeneous coordinates from Cartesian coordinates, one more dimension is added. In homogeneous coordinates, a point and its scaled versions are same. They are the same point on different z-planes. If z component is zero, then the point is at infinity. When going back to Cartesian coordinates, x and y coordinates are divided by z coordinate. Scaled versions of the same point in homogeneous coordinates correspond to same Cartesian coordinates. A fine transformation with homogeneous coordinates. This is a fine transformation equation in Cartesian coordinates. One more dimension is added to input and output vectors. And B vector is moved inside transformation matrix or augmented to transformation matrix. And this is a fine transformation equation in homogeneous coordinates. Using this equation, a fine transformation is performed with single matrix vector multiplication. These are standard basis vectors for 3D space. This matrix is a linear transformation matrix in 3D. Then this column is the third basis vector of transform vector space. And what B0 and B1 do is to change the orientation of that basis vector. B0 and B1 moves tip of the third basis vector on Z equals 1 plane. This is our input image in Cartesian coordinates. Image scale in this diagram is not relevant, just for illustration. When we move from Cartesian to homogeneous coordinates, 2D image is moved to Z equals 1 plane in 3D. So, 2D image is embedded in 3D. B0 and B1 shear 3D space parallel to XY plane. Translation of image over 2D Z equals 1 plane is the result of shear in 3D space. When going back to Cartesian coordinates, 
x and y coordinates are divided by z coordinate. And this is translated image in Cartesian coordinates. Projective transformation. What if we change these two entries? Let's call them H0 and H1. And let A be identity matrix and B be zero vector. So we can inspect the effect of H vector. Note that Z prime is not one anymore because H vector is non-zero. These are standard basis vectors for 3D space. This matrix is a linear transformation matrix in 3D. Then these two columns are the first and the second basis vectors of transformed vector space. And what H0 and H1 do is to change the orientation of those basis vectors. H0 moves tip of the first basis vector parallel to Z axis. H1 moves tip of the second basis vector parallel to Z axis. This is our input image in Cartesian coordinates. Image scale in this diagram is not relevant, just for illustration. D0 and D1 are image dimensions, width and height. Here D0 equals D1. When we move from Cartesian to homogeneous coordinates, 2D image is moved to Z equals 1 plane in 3D. H0 and H1 shear 3D space parallel to Z axis. This is Z prime equation. As an example, let H0 be greater than 0, H1 be less than 0, and absolute value of H0 be greater than absolute value of H1. This is the result of 3D transformation. For corner 1, Z prime is greater than 1. For corner 2, Z prime is greater than 1. And for corner 3, Z prime is less than 1. When going back to Cartesian coordinates, X and Y coordinates are divided by Z coordinate. X coordinate of corner 1 is mapped to a smaller value because Z prime is greater than 1. X and Y coordinates of corner 2 are mapped to smaller values because Z prime is greater than 1. But Y coordinate of corner 3 is mapped to a greater value because Z prime is less than 1. And this is the projected image in Cartesian coordinates. This is original image. This is transformation equation.
and this is transformed or warped image. Warped image is obtained shearing in 3D space parallel to Z axis and then mapping result back to 2D Cartesian coordinates. It looks as if the photo is taken from a different perspective. Combining this effect with A transformation matrix and B translation vector, different perspectives can be obtained. Projective transformation is controlled with 8 parameters. So projective transformation has 8 degrees of freedom. For more details you may refer to affine transformation and projective transformation videos on my channel. And that's all for this video. See you next time.